Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I would like to show you LM Studio. LM Studio is the easiest front end I've ever used to get large language models up and running on a home PC. Even a novice can get this working and have any large language model up and running in no time. LM Studio runs on Windows, Linux and Mac and is installed with a one-click installer taking away the usual complications of building these type of AI projects. LM Studio lets you run large language models locally on your PC. It comes with a very user-friendly graphical user interface that allows you to interact with your models. You can run a wide range of large language models using LM Studio. It also allows you to run a local server and expose an API for integrations. It supports CPU and NVIDIA or AMD GPU support out of the box. Now let's install and configure LM Studio on a Windows PC. Head over to lmstudio.ai and download the installer for Windows. Now you can double click and install the software. You will see the installer launching. Give it time to complete and when everything is finished, you should end up with a desktop icon for LM Studio on your desktop. And how easy was that? There you've got LM Studio up and running as a front end and you're ready to start loading your first models. And from here, LM Studio is very easy to use and configure. Now let's quickly run through the navigation on the dashboard. If you click here, you can search for any model that you would like to download. Click here to chat and interact with your downloaded models. If you click on local server, that will launch the server and the API on your local PC. And click here to manage or change the folder where your models are stored. Now you can go ahead and search for a model using the search bar. Or you can scroll through the dashboard and you'll see the latest models being shown on your dashboard. Now this is a really nice feature of LM Studio. Let's say we want to download the Mistral 7B model. We can clearly see everything here from the model card. We can see it's a 7 billion parameter model. It's the Mistral model. This is one of the blokes model on Hugging Face. We can clearly see the file size and we can see it's small and fast and it's quantized. Now let's download this Mistral 7B model and you'll be able to follow the download progress here at the bottom of the screen. And when the model download completes, you will see it verifying the file integrity for you over here. And you will also see on the dashboard that it's updated the model as downloaded. And as mentioned, another way we can achieve this is to search for a model in the search bar. And again, check how nicely this is presented. There, it returns the model card, and it also has a compatibility guess. And it clearly shows me the models that it thinks will run well on my computer. Let's configure and fire up the model I just downloaded. Click on the AI chat. And this is a beautiful feature of LM Studio. We've opened the blokes model. And LM Studio is loading all the presets for me. There is really nothing I have to configure. Now let's go ahead and load up this model into LM Studio. Before we submit our first prompt, let's quickly run through the presets LM Studio has selected for this model. Over here, you can see that it's loaded the Mistral Instruct preset for us. And here you can see the system prompt or pre-prompt. And this prompt basically tells the LLM how to behave and answer you. I'm going to leave it with the default pre-prompt, but you could change the pre-prompt to answer as a helpful AI assistant, answer as a grumpy old man. Now, this next setting is important. This is your GPU offload. And it basically tells the software how much of your GPU to utilize in processing requests through to the LLM. You will need to play with the GPU offload slider, but the more you can offload, the faster your experience will be. And lastly, you can tell the software what to do if your token length exceeds the window size. 
and you've got these three options to choose from. Now I'm going to apply the changes I made to the preset and let's reload this model. And you should now be in a position to start feeding the system with prompts. I'm going to test the model by asking it, give me a very brief definition of what Wi-Fi is. Now let's submit this prompt and see the results that the model returns. How impressive is that? I submit the prompt. Seconds later, I've got the answer. And the software is not even running on a high-end machine. And if we scrutinize the answer the AI returned, I think this is a very concise answer to the question. Wi-Fi is a wireless networking technology that allows devices to connect to the internet or each other without the need for cables or wires. It operates on radio waves and enables users to move around freely while staying connected to the network. And engaging with the model from here is very similar to ChatGPT. You can either continue talking on this thread or you can launch a new chat. In this final prompt example, I'm asking the model to return the steps needed to install WSL, the Windows subsystem for Linux, on a Windows 11 PC. And here you can see the model is spot on in its answer. And this is pretty much exactly the steps you would follow to get WSL up and running on a Windows 11 machine. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, LM Studio is easy to set up. It's lightweight on the machine that you're executing the LLMs on, and it's easy to use. Let me know in the comments what you think. I hope this video puts you well on your way to start playing with any large language model of your choice. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please remember to comment, like and subscribe and keep an eye on our channel for future AI videos.